Elton, can you start? Can we get an update on um, Markel and Zaire? Sure. Um, happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> just wanted to make myself available. Uh, I had some time before we go on this West Coast trip. Um, update Markel. So he's in LA, still in LA, working with Judy Cito, um, who I've worked with, with the Lakers hired, who Kobe swears by. Uh, progressing well. He'll be with us on Christmas with his family in Boston. Um, progressing pretty well. Our, our staff, someone in our organization has been in touch with him daily or someone in his camp daily. Um, so he's progressing well. Zaire has been in the gym every morning, early in the morning, sometimes 5 a.m. shooting. He's in good spirits. Um, he'll have another test on his foot after the holiday, um, but we expect to see him back this season. Not this year, but this season. Elton, when went into the decision to have Markel with you guys um, in Boston? I uh, just want to be around. He wants to be around. We want him to be around. As Coach said, he misses him. We miss him. He's beloved by his teammates. Uh, it's the holidays. Uh, that's, it. That's, that's what that decision was about. Elton, we are about a third of the way through the season now. What are some of the areas where you really like this team, and what are some of the areas of concern that you're focusing on? Um, you know, I'm very encouraged because uh, we're not a finished product yet. Uh, we're two games out of second place in the East right now. Uh, we added uh, Jimmy Butler in November, so that was great. So it's not in February when you have a, a bigger adjustment period, but we knew there was going to be you know, some rocky times when you add a, a player of his significance. Um, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm encouraged by where we are. Um, you know, people, not people, but depth has been uh, floated out there that we need more depth. We have an open roster spot. We're going to look to to feel that, feel that, um, but there's opportunity cost there. We don't want to you know, miss out on something from the buyout market that we might can add. We don't want to miss out on potential trades as the trade deadline comes, but coach has done a great job <clears throat> putting together this, this environment and this culture so that we could hold down the fort. Coach said in terms of that open roster spot, uh, you know, we'd be interested in the perimeter defensive player. What, what's your wish list for the type of player you will get to Yeah, you know, front court depth. Front court depth is important, you know, to me um, for what our team needs right now. Um, but our teams, we're not a finished product right now. We're going to get better. Our young guys, you know, Landry's been amazing. He's hit the most threes out of any rookie at the, as the 26th pick. Uh, Furcon has an opportunity that he seized. We didn't know he'd play early on in the season. Uh, Mike Muscala uh, came back from his injuries with his ankle and his face and his nose and He's been playing well, so um, just like any team in the league, we have to look to win, but also develop our young players and, and see where they're going to be. As far as Zaire is concerned, what exactly has been doing in the gym and lifting and shooting? Um, lifting, shooting. Um, I haven't seen too much running, but he's been in there early in the morning. PT, of course. Um, that That's been most of it. Between now and sort of buyout season, are you going to, starting in January, look at the 10-day contracts and, and look at some opportunities there? Uh, for sure. You know, we're, we're canvassing the league and the buyout market and the 10-day contracts. Mark Eversley, Ned Cohen just came from Vegas at the G League Showcase, um, brought back reports of the talent there. So, yeah, we were scouring the league and other players that are not, that are not in the league at this time. Is there anyone interesting in, in the Blue Coats? organization that you've got your eye on in particular? Um, for sure. You know, Haywood Highsmith, he's he's played well. Um, he was mentioned in, a, in an article about the top five kind of guys to look at. Um, Norvell Pell, he's played summer league. Um, he's been playing well. Um, then the development of our, our two-way guys also. When you say uh, Fultz is progressing, uh, can you be specific, progressing to